Hello everyone, thank you so much for being here. In this video, I want to share a few tips to deal with the equinox, go through the equinox. You guys know that the autumn equinox or the spring equinox is going to be this September 22 or September 23 according to the side of the world that you are. So what do I need to know? Equinox are portals where cosmic and celestial frequencies are downloaded to earth to the meridians of earth through the chakras of earth and through each and every one of us so choose from whom whatever you like to meditate there are lots of um free worships online global meditations that you can choose or choose whatever you prefer the most here in Quarter frequency on facebook we're gonna do a third eye worship that is going to last for two hours and a half you guys can log into my face and to my page encoded frequency and facebook and then in the calendar just sign up for free and that is an option but choose whomever meditation you like and prepare yourself that day to invite your guides and receive guidance to do an activation to do a healing or whatever you would like to do because it will feel as if you have extra money in your bank account so if you have more energy set an intention for what you would like to manifest if you don't choose what you would like to do with your energy then the energy will do whatever is needed but when we set intentions we create energy containers for that energy to be focused on what we will love to manifest as our dream and at the same time it will be the initiation of the Libra season and Libra it's all about balance so the question it is to ask myself where I would love to have more balance. I sit in my love area, I sit in my finances, I sit in my personal life, instead of my work, in which area of my life I may feel triggered and pull to work on it so I can recalibrate, so I can reset and I can shed light on it right so between the spring equinox and the autumn equinox what do we need to do well first of all we need to know that if you are in the spring equinox then it's a time for you to reborn to flourish to bloom to bring new into your year and at the same time to choose in which area you will like to manifest more of that to acknowledge what's working out for you and to bring more of that so you can become what you are looking for and if you are in the autumn equinox like myself then it's a time for redemption it's a time to take an inventory about what's going on how was the year and how i can reorganize what i have so i can honor the experience that i had but at the same time give a closure a close a cycle i think that will be the word in english to close a cycle because the air the deer it will be ending so to close the cycle and prepare myself to declutter to release the old to welcome the new every equinox and solstice are portals huge portals like the eclipse or certain dates that are conjunction of our cosmic and, and planets to collide together for us to bring a change so easy ideal time to because it's between Virgo and Libra and Virgo it's self-improvement and organization and perfection and at the same time is the knowledge of the mind and then Libra it's the balance the harmony and at the same time it's a lighter expression that allowed in self to dream what else I could be and then I wonder what I would love to become and what else I am missing so life feels beautiful and awesome and I love it and I like it and this is where our 
conscious creator will enter into the equation by setting intentions. So the first thing I will suggest to do it is know what you would like your energy to be focused on. Create the energy pockets by affirmations, intentions, use codes, use whatever technique you want to. Choose your meditation, the worship, or with whom channel or channel for yourself. You will prepare so your guides, your guides from the higher dimensions can come through and can help you with healing, with guidance, with an upgrade. And then forward, self-love. Be aware of what your body needs. Maybe you need more rest. Maybe you need to be more active. Maybe you need to change your diet. Maybe you need to be more selective in which activities or habits you are engaged in during the day. So notice where you are. Notice what you need and provide that to yourself. And lastly, flow with whatever it is. There are a lot of change in the grids and the timelines. There are a lot of things that are possibilities to be. If you feel like you are in an area of your life that you feel blocked, that life is hard, I don't know what to do because there are a lot of people who have any struggles. I can relate and in a way we are all being challenged. Be kind, be gentle with yourself, but also be kind and gentle with each other. So the question it is, what I can do for my world to be better? And maybe it is to work on myself. Maybe it is to be kind with that person that always triggered me and put me out of my center. Maybe it is to give free readings for my friends, to cheer healing with the ones of no. Maybe it is to listen to someone that is in need. Maybe I can donate someone. Maybe I can purchase so the economy flow. Maybe I have an idea for a new business. For me, I purchase food for birds in my neighbor and it's very cheap. It's something that costs me nothing and this is what I think I can contribute to the planet. It's one thing that I'm doing. So think what I can do to make the world better. Not only for myself, but also for everyone else. What else, what I can do that's easy, that's simple, that's going to cost me nothing because I can do and I can be at service for what it's in need. And I would like to finish this video with a minute of light language. And again, invite you to go into Encoded Frequency, the Facebook page, and sign up for that third eye worship that I'm going to be doing. All the details are going to be there. And then I'm going to upload it on Facebook after I edit the sound and stuff like that. But if you would like to be live with me, then join me this 22 of September in Facebook and Quarter Frequency, the page. But right now, let's do a minute of like language transmission. I would like to ask each of your higher self to speak through me, united as one, so we receive whatever we need right now for the highest and best, in the rightful way, in the rightful order, and in the highest outcome for all, in the perfect synchronicity of the wavelength of love. Close your eyes if you can. Bite ase korova te eki ate eshka. Vava se eki ate kokova te eki ite ishna varasoro kotoro ova te eki ishna. Ukova iti ise kuti eki ashna. Hukova iti ase kovava te eseki ata ashna. Hukavati ese kiara korovava tere etra osova ete ishna eki ikiva kuma eti eti ishna ava ete esava hikita va osori ishna. Breathe in and out and visualize yourself in a pillar of light from love's unconditional love and pure source consciousness and then ground your light with a deep conscious breath, center yourself. And I'm gonna ask you guys to ground you, to integrate it with ease and grace into the highest and best that you need now. And with that, I wanna thank you 
any other team of questions that you would like me to do videos like this. If you would like me to continue doing videos like this, then like and share and comment what other ideas you have so we all can grow, connect, and ascend together. And once again, if you would like to join me this free third eye workshop, then log in and do my Facebook page and then in the calendar of Encoder Frequency, you can sign up for free. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I hope this video was valuable and helpful. Thank you so much.